What's up, YouTube? It's me, Sony Beats, and today I'm gonna be doing a breakdown for Serato Sunday 6, Kick in the Head. This song's by Dean Martin, and I forgot why I chose to chop it, because I made this a while ago. I've just gotten back in the routine of making Serato Sunday beats. I'm gonna be releasing at least one Serato Sunday a month, probably, from now on, hopefully. It'll be a beat, then a breakdown, then a beat, then a breakdown on uh, Sundays. And I'll also post my my normal videos, the uh, Wednesday and Friday videos. So for this sample, it was in E minor. I pitched it down to C sharp minor. And I think I just kept hitting fine samples and favoriting the ones that I like. I use two different Serato samples. As you can see here, I automate it to go off and then it goes into the new chops all the way to the end of the song. With these Serato beats, I don't add too much because the sample's already so full, so it's kind of hard to add stuff on top of it. But I added some chords, I was just freestyling the drums, obviously, and then shake the loops come in. It's really just like adding effects on top of it because the Serato sample beats are supposed to be a little more simple and I don't want it to get too cluttered. So I'll start, I'll just play the chops. Yeah. So as you can hear, I just left the bass in there. Use this to increase the frequencies in the low end. Added some distortion, radiator, and put a compressor on it. And then the filter that comes in is from Tape Mellify. For the chords, honestly, I was just playing random stuff, trying to get it to fit. So I knew what cue was in, so I was just playing like C minor stuff. What I, what I usually do is I'll start with a chord I know, and then I'll just start playing kind of either going up or down based on if I want the sound to go up or down in frequency. I don't know the actual names of the chords. Like if I look at the notes, I could come up with a name, but I'm not like a good piano player. So it's gonna sound kind of random. So like when you hear it by itself, it sounds kind of out of place and confusing, but it sounds kind of decent, at least in this part and the little part I put at the end right here. For the drums, I used the Gosh Dang Guy Loop by Warren G. Soul.
I put beat repeat on it, so all the variation you heard is when the beat repeat turns on throughout the beat. Underneath that, I added the shaker loop at the beginning, then this jungle loop comes in later. And the reason it sounds like that is I put fragments on it. it makes it sound a little unique, a little more unique. Over here, I added a texture, pretty sure it's from the count, one of the count's kits. And that's being panned left to right. Yeah, so I added the Wii vocal right here. And the final thing I added was this bongo for the outro. So that's it for the beat. Let me know what you think about it in the comments down below. I'll link the Serato Sunday video here. Comment, like, and subscribe. Check out my music on Spotify. Follow me on Spotify. Check out this video right here. And thanks for watching.